Back in black. No, we've never left black. Um, but I'll show you some OG stuff that not everybody has. You can't get this, folks. Or maybe you can. I don't know. But look what we have. Three of them. Ba -ba! Sir, can you hear me? Okay, so we're in our new razor. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm eating food every time we're in the video. Cut. So, you hear that rattle? Yeah, yeah, so we'll talk about that now. That's a separate video. So, okay, so we are in our brand new Razor. Hi. As many of you probably know, if you've seen that video, we bought a Razor. A four-seat Razor. A Turbo S. Turbo S. 2021 Turbo S, Onyx Black. Yeah. This car's bad ass. It is. We said we needed to mount the radio, right? We got from the from our Pro, the Wrecked Up Pro. Um, new memories and they gave us a console mount to so we could go ahead and explain to you guys how to get that installed yep. And I think it looks awesome. Yep So basically what we're doing if you go back and look at the uh, the, the video from when we installed in our pro that got wrecked uh, We installed a brand new digital radio and we talked about it and a 696 six nine six yeah. So which is awesome. Yeah, so we pulled that stuff out of that car because it was total and it went to auction. And we're going to install it in this car right now. Different console mount, and we will show you that. This one is really straightforward compared to the Pro, I'll tell you right Last, now. Last, with the Pro, we had to have like a hot knife, and we did some cutting. And this yeah. one, I think it's going to be kind of like... But if well, you have a Pro, go check out that video because we did the install. And it looked awesome. Again, so yeah. Rugged Radios, you guys are all, um, amazing as always. So Amanda, hi, our account rep. And Greg and Joe and all the Steves and yeah, awesome guys. And your new shop is opening. I've got my taco pouch ready. Where is it? <laughs> right here. Wait. We'll show that in a minute. Right, right. This is soon to be a taco pocket. Okay, we'll talk we'll about it. We'll come back in a minute. Okay, so like I said, we're going to put the uh, console mount right here. Uh, as you can see, I have pre wired. What was in here before? Uh, just and then, and then I probably just showed you that in a time lapse. Okay, but good. Uh, we're getting a new cage. So the car looks like this right now. So here's what it looks like right now, and we figured since it looks like this right now, um, I actually had these seats out, I'm gonna pull them back out. I just put them in so the kids could play in there. But So we're gonna pull these seats back out, and we'll show you that it's really the ideal time and situation to install all of this stuff. We're gonna put all the wiring in ahead of time. This is a little bit different for us because we've never used four of these, only two. We're actually gonna let the people in the back seat have a word. Not car to car word. Look at that. That's all the bolts for that cage to get that cage off. Jeez. Yeah, you don't even want to think about that. So what we're doing again? Wiring. Here's the wiring that was going to go in the car today. Pretty much all of this, right? Uh, radio will go in later once we actually get the console out. But again, this is the ideal situation to do this wiring. The only thing I don't know if I have is I don't know if I have any ring terminals. Because we're running an audio filter, what we do is we take this guy, the audio filter, we plug it into this guy, the main power harness. We run this all the way back to the battery, all the way up in here, up, like I said, into the audio filter, this guy right here. That gets connected to these guys right here. I am missing that plug somehow, but we'll work all that out. These will tie into audio filter audio filter again power cord uh, then we have helmet cables uh, front and back Danny told me I shouldn't run them I'm like why would I not run them we have them you are such a liar <laughs> I might be lying about that just saying <laughs> I like to blame stuff on Danny on camera that's actually my fault off camera anyway so what's going on, Danny? Hey, I'm actually trying to get this little rubber drum out back here. All right, we gotta get this box out of the way, out of the car, throw it on the ground. I want to do like they do on those car show builds, where they start pulling parts off and they throw them around. But I need most of these parts. <laughs> there has to be a plug for this because I don't fit through. <laughs>
update again me and brandy are going to throw this radio here in on a little bit but we're just doing some pre-wiring she doesn't get her hands dirty like that she's got us for that so what's here is what's happening look at that wiring so we went straight to the battery with our power right and then that's we, the way it should be that's the way it should be we're fused we go all the way up we're going to clean this up don't worry all the way up um and into behind the radio right there that cable this right here and then that will go into a fuse wait did i get that right there and that will go into not a fuse that will go into a uh to the audio filter and then that will pow power up the intercom and the uh, radio anyway all the way from power all the way back in a minute we're going to run the antenna now keep in mind when you run the antenna cable this coaxial cable coax this coax cable I already had the ground still on it from our last use. We'll reuse that. But when you run this cable, it can't be looped. Don't loop it up in a circle if it's too long. Reroute it around the car in such a way that you use up all the length you need to use. Seriously? We can only run it um, up to somewhere back in here for now, obviously, because we don't have a cage. We don't know where it goes yet. So, yeah. Yeah, seriously. Don't coil it up. So, anyway, that's what's going down. Your uh, antenna, antenna, antenna coax cable, that guy right there. I'm trying not to show you guys some of, some of the other things in the car I don't want to see. <laughs> but basically, uh, here's the antenna. Yeah. Uh, here's the cable. I haven't cleaned up, you know, I haven't tidied up the wiring yet. Obviously, we have some other wiring laying in here for the headsets. Uh, it goes all the way along the car in here. I mean, you can wire it however, however you want, of course. But we ran it all the way along here, up through into the into the dash, mm -hmm. and we'll plug Pops that in. Yeah. Now it's going to plug right into the back of all of our uh, items for so, power, right there. So the nice thing is, in the four seater, no, that's right here. Oh, sorry. That's the coaxial. Oh, coaxial. That's what you're so uh, the nice thing about the four seater is there's no issue with ha with uh, worrying about having to coil it up because it's long. It's a long car. I can't imagine in. The it's a long car and a short bus. Yep. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually just uh, throw this thing in. Yeah. So that's our power. Right and what we did is we ran power all the way, let me show you real quick, all yeah. the way straight from the battery. So Rugged recommends that you run all your power, power directly from the battery. If you're, if you're not running an audio filter, which is what this guy is right here, then you should run a power cable for both devices, all the way from the battery. Again, all the way from the battery. And it's not, it wasn't hard, right? You'll nope. watch the time lapse, watch the video. Yeah, we just ran it through the console. Okay, so we're gonna, we grabbed some tools we needed. We grabbed, what size Allen is that? We got a, um, you know, 5 30 seconds. Okay, but it, it may, maybe, I don't know, maybe you don't even have the same hardware. Anyway, we grabbed the hardware we need. Mm -hmm. It's this guy right here. This is the console mount. This is, has the hardware in it right here. Right. We have the tools we need to put this together. Uh, this is a 10, 10 millimeter up here for us. And we'll show you how this all goes together. So we grabbed the tools we need. I grabbed a drill. Brandy got ready. And what do you got for us? I got my, I'm ready for this. I got my tool belt. This is my holder of tool belt because I got it cinch it up yeah i got everything i need including where is it well, I wrote, on, this yeah. is soon to be a taco pocket okay yeah talk see the rugged sticker right there taco pocket in yeah. the meantime we it's got a, a pizza pocket it's, we got a pizza pocket so let's show them what's yeah oh yeah so <laughs> pizza, pizza pocket and then and what's this this is a gapometer gapometer it's my we, measuring and you we? multiply the result by 100 and it'll tell us you how far ahead of you we are I <laughs> How far ahead of you we are. I like that. Well, that's because uh, I can't show you. Though. I can't reveal the car outside completely yet because we're right. doing some stuff to it that's in another video. We don't want to show that yet. But, um, but by the way, this is my happy birthday present for well, my husband, on. so thank you, babe. But hang on, the gapometer. Show me gapometer? that again. Gapometer, I'm sorry. Gap Multiply by 100 the results. So, so, for example, if you hit 25 feet, 2,500. Let's okay. do this. <laughs> so we're going to take this guy. I'm going to pull the hardware out of the way. Okay. Um, I just had it attached so I didn't lose it. I mean, so Brandy didn't lose it. I do lose I'm, things. I'm going to put this hardware not in that cup holder because that cup holder... I'll hold it right here if you want. Uh, I won't even move my hand. I, I like won't that. even move my hand. I don't like that idea at all. It's but... right here, look. Okay, here we go. Okay. So the way this works, let me move the wiring out of the way. We'll come back to the, that. This piece, it hooks in behind this area right here. Mm -hmm. 
drops in like that and you push it back and then what you do is when, once you uh, get it back all the way in place mm -hmm. um, you I don't know if you can get a what'd you just do we'll be back okay <laughs> but here's what we're gonna do so here is let me show you this real quick here's the mount right right and basically it's a two-piece mount I already have uh, the set, the outer piece mounted to the radios, and we'll show you or to the radio and the intercom. We'll show you that in a minute. Okay. These four screws hold that into this plate. This plate mounts to the car right. first. I mean, I would do it that way first. Then after I get this piece mounted, then I would drop the radios in and put these four screws in. So we're going to do that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it in like this. Get this little lip right here. Where? Fits right in the in the oh, opening okay. of the box and holds the bottom in place. Right. Right. And then notice these two screws right here. Right. We're gonna drill up into the dash. Okay. So more hacking and cutting on a dash, your favorite. Yeah. Ain't nothing like before. But no, no, no. And whatever. So we're gonna drop this in here. Okay. We're gonna push it back in place, right? And once we have it in place, I'm gonna hold it in place and drill a hole. We matched the hardware to the size drill bit we have. Right. The drill bit to the size hardware we have, I should say. Right. And I'm going to stick that in place. And then I have... I'm going to stick that right there. And then I'm going to hold it in place and drill the other hole. Harder than it sounds. It but. is harder than it sounds. Alright. Okay. And then uh, this hardware, it's a couple of stainless steel Allen head, button head Allens and a washer and a nut and so i'm going to put these stainless steels up through this mount i'm going to put the washer and the nut on the back side on the, this part of the dash if you look right here it'll be on the back side of this upper upper piece right here okay so okay, okay. all right so that should be hopefully enough that we can fill up so i can't really show you this but what we're going to do is can you yeah. um, and, you can see it we can't even see it what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach up in there and we're gonna put these washers, mm -hmm. Which washers these right here, okay on the top side of these bolts okay like so right and we're gonna drop an eye lock nut up on top they're 10 millimeter in our case and we're gonna grab a 10 millimeter wrench okay yeah this Popped is way it. easier than the pro for sure yeah but i mean that wasn't super difficult either. There's a video no, on it. No, not at all. Uh -uh. Yeah. It's just everybody gets nervous. I mean, we get nervous too. Like, the idea of having to cut into the dash on your brand new car, we understand it's yeah. like a little bit terrifying, but it's pretty easy. Yeah, so we didn't really, there's not a whole lot of cutting on this car. Right. But, so that's basically it. We'll tighten that up and we'll be back in a minute. Uh, we're going to drop the radio stuff, plug it in, we'll test it out real quick. Yeah. So, like I mentioned earlier, I already put the. Um, the intercom and the radio in this new mount, the faceplate mount. It's, right. That's two piece, kind of a two piece deal here okay. for the Turbo S. Uh, you know, mounts like normal, just you know. Right. Uh, Slides in screwing there. this one. This one Make has. Make sure remember the way you tell them how that one goes in, in case. We're yeah, gonna... so it's kind of weird. You have a bolt that slides in this slot, so you, so you. Uh, um, we fought with it before. <laughs> yeah. So what I do is I put the bolts through these holds, and then I bring it in and kind of line it up and slide it through. Um, if you want to see that. We uh, did another video. Yeah. We'll put a link. Anyway, so everything's mounted in this. It's pre-wired. I already uh, saw, I soldered this onto the connections I have here. This came out of our Pro, so there was some wire and I had to adjust. But anyway, this is going to plug into the power we already ran that I talked about already. We have the audio, audio filter. That's this black and red power. Yep. Um... I don't know if you got that on camera. That's this black and red right here. Right. It ran from the battery. This, real quick, this ground strap goes to both devices. Mm -hmm. I broke the end off, off of it, so this end's not the end it would normally have. I put this end on it. I'm gonna find a ground, not right this moment, not on video. I'm gonna find a ground and hook that up. You should do the same. Yes. Uh, antenna has one as well on this car. So we're gonna plug this in, basically, uh, we're gonna we're gonna plug in the power. We're gonna plug in all of the the wow. This will be the first time we have headset four headsets. What do we have? What does that say? That okay. You know, don't judge me, people. I'm 
I'm old. My birthday just passed. That says driver headset. Driver headset. Now here's the thing, right? We have two driver side because we have four cables. I use the cables I have. I don't know if they have cables that are marked front and back or not, but we marked ours with an R rear. Mm -hmm. And we didn't mark the front because if you know which one the rear is, you know which one the front. Yeah. And this was driver. The blue was driver. Yep. So either way, there's a blue and a blue, right? So we're going to plug blue into blue. Push to top and headset. So we're going to push... Uh, Driver got? headset is the top. Oh, I'm sorry. The the rear will go in uh, crew, right? Yes. Headset crew. So here's driver headset. All right. Driver headset. Uh, That's driver headset in your hand. Yeah. Rear yeah. is not marked on that. Okay. Crew is going to go. I mean, the other one's going to go over here and crew. Now, keep in mind, they don't have a push to talk, so you don't have to. Here, real quick. The fronts, you have push to talk, right? So you need to make sure that you match the uh, driver side and the co-driver to the push to talk, otherwise I push this button and it key her mic, not mine. Or if or you don't face. want your co-driver to be talking, just accidentally wire it wrong. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna put uh, do co-driver, right. which is the red. Which is Brandy, red hair. Uh, that's R is gonna go over here in crew as well. Rear, co-driver, backseat driver. <laughs> I can't believe we were gonna even let them be in on the conversation, but whatever. <laughs> well, we can unplug them. Yeah, they don't have a push to talk. They can only talk to us. And we have, uh, oh, great. what I is they this? Can only talk to no, I'm just that is... Driver. That or says co-driver. Yeah, red's co-driver. So. Yeah, my red hair. I had and red. then, uh, same for push to talk. So our push to clap top cables are also pre-wired right here. Yeah. So I'm going to bring the blue one through and plug it in. I know this is probably hard to see, but it's pretty straightforward and they're color-coded. And they're marked. Uh, you can't really plug in the wrong one to the wrong place because the push, the talk, and the headset cables don't. The they, the ends are different, so they don't intermingle. They won't, uh, yeah, they don't. Nice. No, they don't play nice at all. So there we go. Everything's plugged in. We're going to uh, bring this audio filter through. We'll plug that power in in a minute. And then, of course, I'm going to go in later. And I'll zip tie all this up, all this wiring up, so it's nice and neat. Again, the ground cable is going to go through. And I will find the ground. And I will ground that. I'm going to leave it I'm leaving a little bit long. You're grounded, yeah. And antenna cable is a little bit short on this car because of the way I ran it. I could have actually uh, ran it. It's a it. longer car. It's a longer car. Not that much longer, surprisingly, you know. About that. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, tell them about the ride real quick. We guys, we are doing, I'm like super excited. It's something we've never done before. I mean, we've done desert riding, but for our first trip in the Turbo S, which I feel like is going to be a real put it to the test kind of ride. We're doing the, uh, for President's Weekend. So we're heading out from here early Saturday morning on the 13th of February. And we're heading down to the Slash X Cafe in Barstow, California. And we're going to meet up with a group of people. And we're going to have all of our gear loaded up. So we got to outfit this car. We have a couple short weeks left to get everything dialed in. We're going to be riding all the way from Barstow Slash X Cafe Saturday um, early afternoon, I guess. And we're going to be hitting the off-road desert trail. And we're going to ride all the way to Prim, Nevada off-road in this car. we got the kids going with us, DJ and Charles, which is awesome. They're going to take trip to Can-Am. We're going to load up the gear in the back seat of this because we got room. Um, and we're going to head over 100 miles off-road all the way from California down by Barstow all the way up to Prim, Nevada. And we're all going to regroup. And then we have a um, two-night stay in Prim, Nevada at the Prim Valley Resort Hotel and Casino. And we're going to stay there Saturday and Sunday night. So Saturday the 13th and Sunday the 14th of February, Valentine's. It's our anniversary of when we rolled the razor. We're not doing it this time because we're on flatland. And um, we're going to ride around some spots out there in the desert out in Prim, Nevada. And then we head back Monday, President's Day, back all the way 100 plus miles again from Prim all the way back to Slash X Cafe in Barstow. And then we're going to head home after that. So super excited. Really kind of anxious to get going and um, we've already done a few things you've seen to the car but most importantly what we're getting ready is communications because we always say it's key in a relationship as well as in an off-road adventure okay so while i was chatting away look what he did yeah that looks that pretty man. freaking cool yeah, it's pretty nice not gonna lie wow rugged guys that looks amazing 
Look at that. It's super clean. Yeah, it really it's is clean. It just fits right into that um, where the storage box was. And we did have some box. people they didn't like. So the, the pro mount we had, and I think they have another one if I'm not mistaken now. But the pro mount we had extended the digital radio way out. A lot of people didn't like it. Yeah, well, there's two different mounts now, so I think they did redo it because now look how flush it is. Oh, yeah, this is a different car. Obviously. Yeah, no, but I think they have the pro one, too, that's kind of more flush like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if we can call them up on the radio. Sir, can you hear me? Wait, yeah, you're standing right over there. I can see. I feel like you're making it um, just like you're giving things away to the people they don't know. I can see it. I'm gonna grab a helmet. It's not a camera, it's a radio. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a helmet. I'll be right back. Do, 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 do. Anywho, I'm excited. We just got word. Uh, like Things are just working out is what's happening. Look at this. Let me do a little sweeping view of this. Not that kind of stuff that we don't want you to see, but look at that. We're back in that. Back in black. No, we've never left black. Um, but I'll show you some OG stuff that not everybody has. You can't get this, folks. Or maybe you can, I don't know. But look at we have three of them. Ba -ba! Oh, wait, focus. There you go. <laughs> can you hear me now? Copy that. It's so loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit here. You're in charge of your own volume. That's not the radio's fault. Can you hear me now? Oh, I can hear you loud and clear. Man, this thing is super clear and loud. I can hear that. Do I sound um, very professional? Breaker break one nine. Dandy off road. This is Brandy. Dandy off road coming in. Copy. Copy. That's what you say on the radio. Just gonna say that right now. I learned a lot of lingo. Um, so, anyways, it's working. Rugged radios. That guy back there in the car. Do you think that this is a really good setup you got going on? I like it a lot. It's uh, really badass. You sound really clear on this uh, handheld I'm holding here, sir. Two thumbs up, four thumbs up from the Dandy crew again. And you guess what that means? What's up? The end. It's over.